Hello, myself Sunil Ramakrishnan Nair. Basically, I am working as a software delivery head. And today, basically, we are going to talk about one topic that is basically a Scrum framework. What actually the Scrum framework is, and how basically this can be used. Uh, Scrum framework basically comes in one methodology that is basically agile methodology. And there are two methodologies: agile and waterfall method. So today basically we are going to talk about the Agile uh, Scrum Framework and in the Scrum Framework basically we are going to talk about few roles and responsibilities. Basically whenever any company runs the projects, so there should be some roles and responsibility. Who will be responsible for what, which task, who is responsible for what, if he, this task has happened then who is responsible. So basically each and every uh, roles and responsibilities are segregated. So here basically the scrum says that there are a few set of roles and responsibilities we have created. So in that basically there are few uh, roles. One is product owner, another is scrum master and then another is developer basically. So basically nowadays what happens, uh, company don't allow anyone to connect with the client directly. Nowadays it's like that basically so that the because the clients are very sensitive so the that's why basically the system has came into which a product owner is there scrum master is there and then the developer are there basically. So basically here we, we are going to talk about each and every roles and responsibility of each and every roles. Each and every things basically product owner is the another role is scrum master and then the developer what are the roles and responsibility of each and every persons so one is basically product owner product owner means basically who is product owner basically if you are creating any system then there should be one person who is supposed to know each and every feature of the product each and every conditions of the product. So he's, if anything happens to the system, then he is supposed to be clear that error. So he is basically a product owner. So he is supposed to know each and every things. So basically product owner basically is a connect, is uh, basically connected with each and every stakeholders basically you can say. Each and every product vision basically he is cleared about that. Each and every conditions he is about to be cleared. He clears each and every problems of the product. So basically product owner basically we can say he prioritizes the each and every task basically you can say which task has to be done when which has to, which task has to be done when which task has to be completed before what each and every priority priority basically you can say because uh, sometimes scrum master is not clear about the which task has to be done first because uh, it's connected with the priority and uh, about the costing part also because uh, the client has, the com company has committed that this task we need first so basically according to the plan has to be done so the product owner do each and every plans basically we can say then is each and every user story, each and every sprint basically that has to be designed. So that basically product manager basically uh, scrum master also does. Few things basically product owner also do basically. But uh, each and every thing basically product owner is responsible. He is supposed to be clear about each and every thing. And now basically it is a scrum master basically. Scrum master basically we can say he is responsible for the deliverables basically we can say. Each and every task has to be computerized, each and every uh, task has to be soft, uh, computerized in, from the software. Software has to be create each and every task. So each and every requirements which has uh, which has been set to the set as a task and as a user stories as a sprint that has to be done. 
so basically each and every developer has to do their work so he is supposed to take care of this each and every thing basically we can say sprint creation user um, we can say user stories creation task creation basically and this then basically sometime what happens is an every user stories and task has created and that has been backlogged there is one facility called backlog basically we can say that basically is checked by the product uh, owner basically you can say and then the product owner basically prioritize the task basically which task to be done first which has to be done first and basically this according to the priority priority setted by the product owner then basically it has uh, it has given few names sprint one sprint one contain 10 uh, tasks sprint two contain 20 tasks 30 like this basically 100 tasks are there like this basically we have um, segregated each and every task in the sprint basically so each and every sprint also has to be verified because it has to be prioritized that's why basically so product owner basically prioritize each and every stuff and each and every user stories each and every task basically which has been created basically then basically the developer team comes developer team basically are the responsible for each and every stuff basically which has been created which has to be created uh, the each and every project specification which has been created by the project manager so project manager basically has created each and every project specification from the user stories each and every task which has been created so each and every task has been converted to the project specifications and the project specification is supposed to be uh, completed by the developer team and the, it has to be tested by the uh, tester team that is basically UTC document comes here so each and every thing has to be created so creation basically parts comes then the developer teams comes then the developer teams has to be complete each and every task each and every stuff each and every modules and basically that stuff has to be checked by the your QA team also so the QA team also is there like this basically in scrum basically there are many rules which just now we have seen here product owner is there scrum master is there and the developer team is there like this basically this is about some little bit about the scrum framework which is come which comes in the agile methodology and this is about the scrum framework so basically you can say so this is sunil r Meyer basically signing off from here signing from this video and the next video basically we are going to see some little bit about the project management plan some other agile methodology whatever methodology and scrum framework and how many scrum frameworks are sorry mm, scrum frameworks basically agile methodology and each and every methodologies are there basically basically but most of basically used in practical life are agile is a scrum framework is the um, waterfall methodology are there so basically this is about uh, little bit about agile methodology and scrum framework so in next video we are going to see some little bit more about this. This is Sunil Arnaya signing off from now from this video.